Y'all know how they say going outside is extremely expensive. Do y'all see this? Had to upgrade space on the MacBook from an Air to a Pro. And of course, hubby had to grab something too. So we've been outside for an hour and an hour cost three grand. So we are back at the house. So this morning when I was trying to dump the last travel vlog from this MacBook Air, I kept getting an error message saying I didn't have enough space, even though I paid for extra cloud space. So we just went and purchased this one terabyte MacBook Pro. So now I'm transferring everything over. So hopefully we'll be in business shortly. And welcome back to the channel so i am back in town very temporarily um from the travel vlog that you would have seen before this one straight up 48 hours in the life solopreneur debacle i mean from the suv in tow to fighting with five o'clock traffic coming into raleigh to the clown car if you haven't seen me, you gotta check it out but you know one monkey don't stop no show so we are today prepping for our next out of town visit um with the client this month because remember quarter one whoo she's nice and full so yesterday when i came back home i had to go ahead and dump all the content from my phone for the travel vlog and lo and behold my macbook air said um it's giving no sis we don't have enough space so we had to run to best buy yesterday and i had to buy a new macbook but i got a macbook pro 2024 with one terabyte of space so we should be good for years to come so that vlog is all prepped and ready to air at the beginning of march so all is well there so now coming up tomorrow we have a three-hour professional development with one of my district clients so we have to make a couple stops because for three-hour pds i like to incorporate a lot of hands-on activities those sorts of things and you know i'm gonna feed you and it's gonna be early in the morning so the pd runs from 8 30 to 11 30 so i'll definitely do a breakfast theme so right now we're at dollar 25 tree because i need to grab a few things for some of the in-person activities um like post-it notes some more index cards some bowls some mini cups those sorts of things so gotta grab a few of those then we're gonna hop over to one more store so i can get some pastries like a nice little mix of um breakfast delicacies and some beverages so i'll be nice to prepare for my client in the morning then we'll run back home pack the suv trunk with all of our supplies for tomorrow so i'm gonna take you with come on friends so we need a few things we need cups trying to decide if i want to do these small ones or these larger 28 ounce ones i think i may do the small ones better for this activity so we'll grab two of those and then we also need some napkins for breakfast and for the activity so we'll grab some of these 150 20. oh these are cute i like these a little bit better this design than those yeah make them all the same and then we need some bowls how many bowls is this 30. so let's grab two of those so I think this group is a little over 50 who will be participating in the actual projects. And then we need some fine spoons. These should work. It's cold season, so we're definitely gonna grab a couple boxes of tissue, absolutely. Okay, let me tell y'all what's real bad. When you were three seconds into your trip, I just realized that that little handheld basket you had wasn't gonna do anything. But at least I grabbed my can sodas for the soda can activity when I was up there. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab a couple of these for my calorie conscious people. They got a couple of different kinds. So let's see. We have some mixed berry and apple cinnamon. So I'll grab those. What is this? I have strawberry. So I'll grab a few of those. And then I thought I saw another kind in here but i don't so we'll keep looking 
Okay, so I did find these breakfast biscuits. These did really well at a PDI I went to recently. So I think I grabbed some of these. I see blueberry. I see some cinnamon brown sugar. So I grabbed some of those and I saw another one over here. Oh, they have coconut too. I may only grab like one of these though because I know allergies right now so i was going to grab a, a muffin tray from my next stop but covid rsv all the things and i saw these individually wrapped brownie bites that say try hot so i think i'm actually gonna get two of each one of these and then i saw one that had candies in it but it's not giving breakfast so i think i am just gonna get um four of those Hey y'all, so quick pro tip. I like to like make quick cute displays for my food and drinks when I put them out at uh, my professional development. So I typically use platters, but this time I got these gold trays because I can definitely reuse these for um, other events and things in my office because my office is gold and white. So pro tip, don't buy things just to use once. It is professional development is something that you do as a part of your consulting journey. Make sure you buy things that are reused. Useful. Another quick part two to that pro tip if you have things that are small and you worry about them falling through, grab some of these cork boards. They're in the craft kits, like teaching section, and they fit perfectly in the bottom of the gold tray so that you'll have to worry about small things sliding through. All right, y'all. So we are back in the car. I grabbed most of what I needed. I do need to grab beverages now. So I usually do like um, water plus um, one other beverage, usually something carbonated or some juice. So I'm going to run to another store and it's literally right behind this one. So we're good to go to grab the beverages. And then I'm going to head back home to go ahead and start packing um, everything except the food into my trunk to get ready for um, tomorrow. Hopefully, if I can do that in a decent amount of time, um, I'll have time to be able to um, show you all like some of what I'm taking with me. So let's head to store two. Always try to be mindful of running to the bathroom doing PD. So I'm gonna grab these smaller waters. Since it's 24, I'm gonna grab two or three cases of these, and then I'm gonna go find some something with some sugar. All right, y'all. So I'm not gonna lie, I punked out. I struggle with giving people sugary beverages and sugary food or snacks when I'm doing PD. So since I was a little heavy on the sugar with the pastries and the baked goods, I did do all water. I got like five cases um, for the professional development. So now I'm currently on the way back home because I also grabbed me um, some shrimp tempura rolls and some shrimp spring rolls and I'm about to throw in the air fryer so I can have me a small little late lunch because it's after three right now and then I will go ahead and show you all like how I kind of packed and what I packed um, to take to the client believe it or not this is like a very very simple process because the PD that I'm doing tomorrow is actually a part of my dynamic duo PD which is a part one and part two trauma um, PD program so it is customized for the particular client but the base of that part of the work is done this is just a matter of me not wanting to have a abnormal amount of extra activity supplies like stacked up in my office space so I typically just run up the road and grab a few things if I need to but I typically also assign a budget for each PD so when a client pays for a PD whether it is a one hour three hour all day there's a portion of that fee that is associated with the cost of the supplies that will be needed for that particular program so pro tip always make sure you include the cost of supplies or if you're going to be feeding anyone those things fold those into the cost of your program and once you create a very specific budget for that client for those supplies stick to it hey y'all so finally getting the trunk packed up i ended up getting i'm taking three of the cases of water that i got 
um, the trays to go ahead and set everything up. I travel with this crate because it makes life a lot easier. I got some heavy stuff in here for some of the activities. All of my paper products down here, like my sticky notes and index cards. I always print out um, a copy of the actual professional development, the actual deck. So that's there. Extra paper always. I'm going to grab some writing utensils as well. I got a gigantic sticky note um, back there in the back that I'm going to need later. And I went ahead and unboxed all of the goodies and all of the paperwares and I actually stuck them down in here. This makes it easier for transport and set up tomorrow. So all the snacks and stuff down in the bottom. Um, so we're rocking and rolling good to go. I have to be up and out of here extra early in the morning. So I'm about to call it a night. So I'll check it in the morning. Quick OOTD. I just did all black at the bottom room. GG Bell. I got my bumblebee brooch. Of course y'all know I'm wearing my chain lee necklace. I got my hoops. I'm on the long duster today and I'll throw my jacket over. Y'all know my shoes in the car. I don't drive long distance in no shoes. Check back in soon. Hey y'all. It is real life so early. I even have my interior light on and y'all still can't see me. But it is 5.59 a.m. I'm about to get on the road now. Y'all pray my strength. Your girl tired. And my digestive disorder on 10 this morning. But we about to make it do what it do. So we're going to make a Starbucks stop. And then I'll check back in when y'all can actually see me. <laughs> hey, y'all. So we are like 50 minutes out just checking in. So as you can see, people are nosy. And they very much struggle with minding the business that pay them. So as always, y'all know I'm way far back because I don't play games in traffic. But I don't understand why it is that people can't just drive. Like, stop being nosy. I don't see a sign up here that says, hey, you can't use this side of the road. Just mind the business that pay you and go ahead and drive. It's just a Geico truck. I mean, come on. And when I say slow traffic down for like five minutes, I mean, get real, people. But we're almost there, y'all. Check in. We're going to talk a lot about self-care and collective care as key components of trauma-informed school. So I know most people think when trauma experts come in, we're going to talk about how to fix the kids. That is not what this work is about. Because if we are not whole, if we don't come to this process whole, then we can't do anything for them. Oh, Lovely stuff. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. So I heard some rooting, and I heard some conversation around growing. 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 Yes, 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 yes. And we gotta, we gotta grow some things up. We gotta get rid of some stuff. We gotta root some things. But we also want to grow and develop some stuff too. What I've learned today, I need to understand the environment of my students and what they've been having before coming. Hey, y'all. So we are back. Finished up the PD. Everything went absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Thanks in part to my friend Ashley, who is here with me today. I'm going to get her on camera later, y'all. I promise I am before she before we separate but everything went well um i hope y'all enjoyed the few pieces of the pd that we cut into the video prior to this and now we're getting some food we got some zaxby's because um we hungry like i told y'all i typically don't eat before um a pd and today my digestive disorder was doing its own thing so i did not eat um but yeah i'm hungry now so we're gonna get something to eat now and we're gonna jump back on the road so next check-in i'll probably um be back at home and i'll share with you all um some gems as i promised i would drop when it comes to working with larger districts and the like so talk to you soon hey y'all 
hey. As you can see, I am back home in one of my favorite places, my bed. And trust me, this rest right here, I don't condone the earning of rest, but this right here is the one not the two. I'm about to eat and I've done some skincare, as you can see, and uh, got me a nice shower. I did some dinner. I got an accountant meeting. I'm in about 30 minutes, but I did want to jump in and close out the vlog. Thank y'all a thousand times over for hanging with me today. Um, and as promised, I'll fair, share a few gems about working with districts or larger organizations. Um, one, professionalism is everything. It is your access point. It is your key. It is the guarantee to a nice, long, successful, happy relationship um, with all clients. So always remain professional from your dress to the way you speak with people in the organization when you arrive um, to how you conduct yourself in the sessions. Be relatable. Be easily easy to connect to, but always remain professional. Um, remember that you're there to provide a service and remember that that service is a representation of you as an individual as well. Also, another big gem, when I'm out at um, professional developments, whether they're with clients, those sorts of things, I always welcome in others who the client would like to share the experience with. So today during my professional development, I actually had some district folks from other departments such as behavioral health and um, social work who wanted to come in to uh, sit in on the session. I even had some people in law enforcement who work very closely with this district to want to come into this session. Please understand that that is always a good sign and you want to welcome those individuals. Make sure that you are introducing yourself. Make sure that you are sharing your business cards with these individuals and they know, know how much you appreciate them being in the space and that you welcome the opportunity um, to work with them in other capacities. Have conversations with them as you're walking around through group activities. Invite them to share their experiences so that you can show how they connect to the work that you are there to support through the current contract when I tell you it is the one not the two uh last gem I guess I will drop is to make sure that you are being very gentle with yourself in these spaces as well I was extremely tired when I left I wore some chunky heels today so I was really really feeling it when I got ready to leave I popped my heels off and put on my Crocs right there in the parking lot after I got everything loaded because my feet needed some comfort in that moment. And I did see a couple of the individuals from my session um, afterward, and they were laughing and giggling with me about my Crocs. And the Crocs became a point of conversation, um, but it was funny. It was lighthearted. It showed how human we are even as the facilitators of this work. So just a few gems for you to carry with you until the next vlog. So again, thank you so much for spending time with me today where we do things the HJUA and I'll see you soon.